Gary, thank you. Well, FC Cincinnati fans are ready for tonight's MLS opener, just like Gary is. Local 12's Catherine Robinson is live now with one of the biggest fans talking about what today means for the city. Good morning, Catherine. Adam, this is the day that everyone has been waiting for, especially super fans like the one I have with me now, Bob Brumberg with Dean and Stott. How did I do? Very well. Good job. <laughs> We've been practicing this morning. So, I mean, there's been so much excitement surrounding this day. It's finally here. How does it feel this morning? It feels great. You know, you think about the journey this club has taken from, you know, three years ago, uh, just starting out and, 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 and getting from, you know, that, that the very first match in, in 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 USL and all the way now to MLS and it's a representation of how you know how Cincinnati has been acknowledged by by Major League Soccer as 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 a great city and, and it's a it's a credit to this to this area that's really embraced the team. And I know that you all always bring out a big crowd for any game. Mm -hmm. Talk to me tonight. I know there's going to be a place that you all are going to be prepared to watch this. Right. For those that didn't travel to Seattle, and there's there's a, a hefty number uh, uh, on a plane probably right now uh, to Seattle. But for those staying in town, uh, our group meets at Ryan House uh, in OTR tonight. Uh, they've uh, they've got some space for us uh, uh, for the match. I think it's uh, 10 o'clock uh, start time, our time here. So it'll be a late night, but it'll be uh, something we've all been anticipating for a while. And, you know, not just is this exciting for the community, but you are also giving back while you are participating in this, getting excited for the team. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so we have we have a, a such a membership reach that we really feel like when you have that, you can you can leverage that to do good. And we've partnered with various organizations, uh, uh, a group that uh, out of the Cincinnati Public School area called Starts with the Shoes for you know, helping uh, local high schoolers get equipment. The West End Art Gallery is uh, has been a partner of ours uh, recently. So you know, we really feel like this is just more than soccer. It's more than just going to a game. We really want to make sure we're giving back to our community and and, and doing what's right. And you know, we were talking a little bit earlier. We're still looking ahead to the home opener, too. Right now, we're standing at the site of the future MLS stadium here. But that home opener is coming up. What is this crowd, the dynamic, going to be like in this city coming up? I think it'll be something unlike we've seen. I mean, it, the, the, the excitement has been building. You know, you've seen the crowds. You've seen the, uh, the, the, just the, the absolute passion that this city has for soccer. Uh, come come the home opener, it's going to be something special. All righty. Well, and today is going to be exciting. Anyway, over in Seattle, of course, going to be exciting here in Cincinnati. Thank you, Bob, for joining us. We'll check in with you in the next hour. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio, Adam. Catherine, I'm just so proud of you for nailing Dien and Stott. You did it. We worked on it. Yes. We practiced in the in the newsroom, and you got it. So kudos to you. We'll check I got back, it. We'll check back in with you, you in about an hour. All right.